Just roll those shoulders. Oh, good. Good to move. And then forward. Lovely. And then we're going to do some nice breaths. So we're going to breathe in as we push our hand back and away. And then, sorry, sorry. Yes, breathe in as you go that way. And breathe out as you come forward. Then we're going to lean sideways, breathing out, breathing in. Then we're going to do a little dip to the floor, sweeping out, sweeping back. We're going to breathe out and in. We're going to breathe out and in. We're going to dip to the floor, breathe out and in. So you know what you're doing now, so we're going to do it again. Opening up that shoulder and chest. Little lean to the side. Little bit, bend the knees as much as you want. Good. Reaching up and away. Don't forget the lovely deep breathing. Reaching. And then a little dip down to the floor. Good. Lovely. We're going to do one last big circle. Down we go. All the way up. Big reach up to the ceiling. And coming down. Lovely. Well done. Okay. So, we're going to first of all do a little forward and back with our arms, rounding our back and opening up our chest. So, forward and then leaning back and opening. Lovely. So, really opening up the chest as you stand tall, leaning forward, rounding the back. As much as you feel you can do, opening up those shoulders and chest. Lovely big, that's it, great everybody. And you can take lovely deep breaths in and breathe out as you come forward. In one more time and out. Good. Okay, standing with your arms out shoulder height. We're going to take one arm across the head and touch the other arm. Okay, see if you can do a little lean. You may not be able to all the way to touch, but just a little lean and touch. So we're working the sides and touch. Good. Lovely stretch over. Just really working the sides of the body. Good. And when you come back to the middle, stand lovely and tall. Over you go. And tall. Over you go. One more each side. Here we go. Good. Last one. Good. And then just rest those hands down. Just give those shoulders a little roll for a second. Okay, so we're just going to reach out to the side, a little bit like we did with our breathing. As if you're reaching for something, that's it. Now just be careful not to have your bottom sticking out. You want to tuck under, tuck the tailbone under, so you just do a pelvic tilt and reach sideways. And reach the other way. So the pelvic tilt stops your back from working, it makes your tummy work a bit more. Okay. All right, so just make sure you're bracing yourself here and you're reaching. Lovely. And again, just nice and gentle little reach out to the side. One last one to each side. Good. There we go. Lovely. Stick it with the arms for one more. We're going to take the back of our hands and we're going to touch the back of the hands together across the body. So going across and then opening the chest going across, opening the chest, across, lovely, really working those shoulders, good, and working the chest and the upper back, super, we're going to work a little bit on the back today, so we're just making sure that we're warming it up, good, one more to each side, reach, back of the hands together, super job, well done, okay, so we're going to work our way down to our legs now, okay, so you can have that hand on that chair if you need to, because we're just going to lift the leg up to the front, so it's just going to look like this, a little lift, a little lift, and if you're worried about balancing, just grab hold of your chair and lift the leg, doesn't have to be dead straight, don't have to point your toe, it's just a case of lifting the leg, good. Okay, so on the same leg, you're just going to take it out the back and lift it out the back and give your bottom a little squeeze. 
Now, I'd like you to lean forward, because if you try and stay upright, you're going to pinch your lower back. So just lean forward, so you can either stand with the chair in front of you, or you can stand with the chair beside you if you need it. And we're just doing some little lifts out the back. Lift in the leg only as high as you want to, as you feel comfortable. Good, okay, lovely. And one more we're going to do, we're going to take the leg out to the side. So hold on to the chair if you need to, I'm going to move away. I put my hands on my hips because we want to try and stop this from happening. So we don't want to do that. We want to try and just use the leg. So my body is staying nice and upright, yeah? And it just makes sure you work these hips, okay? And we don't often do that sideways movement, but then when we do suddenly need to do it, then those muscles aren't working so well. Just a couple more lifts to the side. Good. Now we're going to do that with the other leg, okay? So you might want to just spin your chair around. Okay, what did we do first? We did a little lift to the front. So we're just going to lift the leg so it just looks like this. Lifting, holding the tummy in, staying nice and tall. Lifting the leg to the front. Good. A couple more. Hold on to the chair if you want to. Good. Then what did we do? We went forward with the body, out with the leg. Okay, so we're just going to lean slightly forward and lift the leg out the back. And you should feel that in your bottom, in your glute. Very important for walking, sitting, standing, going upstairs, and posture as well. We're making those glutes work in our bottom. Good. Next one was out to the side, so hands on the hips, make sure they stay even. And we're just going to lift the leg. Doesn't go far, because the hip stops there. Just working out to the side there. Lovely, if you need the chair, just hold the chair for balance. Good. Super. Last one. Lovely. So we're going to progress that a little bit more with the legs. What I want you to do is tap your leg in the front. I want you to tap it to the side and tap it out the back and then come back again. Okay, so it's just going to look like this. Trying to keep the body nice and still. Not too much movement in the body. Tap in, you can hold or not, whichever you want. Tap into the side, tap into the front. Okay, so a little half circle. If you've been doing it a few weeks with me, and you just want to go all the way round, you can. <laughs> just makes you a little bit more wobbly, so just start with a tap if you need to. If not, all the way round. And when the standing leg starts to ache, then we change legs. So, we're going to go to the other side. You might want to move your chair. I'm going to do it without. And we're going to start tapping. Side and back. Side and forward. All the time trying to stay really tall in your body so that your ribs are nice and tall away from your hips so we're not slouching, we're really tall and that will give your core a chance to work. Tap in. Lovely, looking good. And if you want to and you're used to it, you can go all the way without putting your foot down to tap. Takes a little bit more control, a little bit more balance. <laughs> some of you I know have been doing that for a little while so that's great good last one okay who can feel that on their bottom yeah all right so we're just gonna squat back now a squat needs to be like you're sitting on a chair let me show you make sure all the weight goes over the bottom okay so it's almost like you're sitting on your chair and you're coming up yeah all right so we're just sitting back coming up now what I would like you to do this time as you come up really squeeze the bottom and stand really tall you're almost pushing your hips forward yeah so you sit down and you stand up let's do that one more time this is brilliant excellent Whew. good okay give those legs a little shake well done, well done. 
Okay, we've got one more to do. And it's a little curtsy position, okay? So you do it as if you're curtsy, and I don't know why I always go like that, as if I've got dresser. So we curtsy and come up. Now, if you've got any sore knees, just do it gently, don't go down too deep. Just do a little curtsy. If you feel you can take that a little bit deeper, and your knees and your hips will let you, then you can go a little bit lower. Pushing back up is quite strenuous on the glutes. Down we go, back up. Little curtsy position, down, back up, and again. One more. There we go. Very elegantly done. And whenever we do that, we just make sure we don't drop the head forward. So you try and stay up nice and tall. See if you've got a beanbag on your head, so you stay tall. Good. So we've warmed up the arms, we've warmed up the leg. You just need to go sideways a little bit. So make sure you've got some space to your side. Okay, and we're just going to take a step out, back to the middle, step out, back to the middle. Just making sure we've got that sideways movement. Good. Out we go. You can pop your hand on the bent leg, take your weight and come back up if you want. Or stay tall if you want to, keep your shoulders up. So again, this is using the inside and the outside of our legs. One more time, each side. Good. So now we're going to actually take a really wide stance and we're going to rock between one knee bent to the other knee bent. Looking good, that's great. So reaching with the arms and you can twist them. Twist them at the shoulders so you're getting a lovely rotation of those arms. Super job. Good. Twisting. Shoulders get very tight, very stiff quite a lot of people in the village that have got sore shoulders so let's get them moving keep them mobile and then slowly bring the legs back together lovely okay so we got one of our one of my favorites a little roll down it just works the back and the back of the legs you pop your chin onto your chest your shoulders come forward and then slowly you just reach down as long as you're okay bending forward reach down towards the ground feeling a stretch in the back of your legs and then you hang there for a second let the head hang let the arms hang and then squeeze your tummy and your bottom and slowly roll yourself back up again and then we're going to reach up high and if your back's okay just a little lean back and then we're going to go again so we're going to pop our chin on our chest our shoulders come forward. We're going to roll our hands down the front of our legs till we get to the floor. If you can touch the floor. <laughs> if not, just hang the arms, hang the head. Feel that lovely stretch. And then roll yourself back up again. Pulling in the tummy, tightening the bottom, and then up for a lovely reach. Cool. Okay. We're just going to pedal our feet, okay, so whether you've got shoes, trainers or what you've got on or if you're bare feet like me, we're just going to take a nice little roll of our feet from our ball of our feet through to our heels, just really moving those toes, opening them up if you can, just like a little march going from toes to heels and it really works and gets that circulation going, definitely warms up those toes, those feet, the calves and our legs. Super, okay, lovely. Ah, so we all warm, <laughs> it warm, warm me up anyway. Okay, so if you have a ball, would you grab your ball for me? Okay, we're going to pop it between, just above the knees, not on the knees, always above. Okay, so you don't want to put pressure on the knee. Don't worry if you haven't got a ball, you can just stand with your legs together, okay? If you've got a ball, give it a lovely squeeze. That squeeze will start engaging the core and the tummy, okay? All right. So we're just going to lift the arm up, stretch nice and tall, take the other arm down and stretch yourself between fingers to fingers, and then add a tiny little lean to the side. Good. Then we're going to go the other way. We're going to have a lovely reach up, reach down, stretch the body from one side to the other, all the way along the body. And then a little lean. Good. 
here. Let's go again. So, stretch, stretch. It's all about getting the muscles to move as much as possible. Lovely and stretching them out. Good. Stretching really is important. And one more. Here we go. Down. Lovely stretch. Really reach them. My ribs are really high away from my hips. One last one. Up, down, and stretch. Lovely. Good. So the backs and the shoulders should feel good there. If you've got your ball, I'd like you to pop it in your hand. If you haven't got a ball, I just want you to push your hands together. Feel some pressure, okay? That's what we're doing. It's a nice little bit of pressure. Works in front of the chest and the shoulders. Push in. So, the knees are a bit soft, which means just slightly bent, okay? Hips are going to point towards me. I don't want the hips moving. And I have to trust you because I can't see all your hips at the moment. And I just want you to turn the upper body. Look one way and back to the front. And the other way and back to the front. Keep the pressure on the ball or on your hands. And back again. Let's do one more. Push and down. Lovely. Okay. All right. Okay. We just have a little rest because when you're putting that pressure, it does work those arms. All right. We're going to do that again twice to each side. So put the pressure on the ball. Lovely position, keeping those hips nice and forward. And it's just the top part of your body above your waist that goes to one side and back. And then the other all the time trying to pull your tummy in and you can be nice and firm in your glutes last one there that really helps to get the back moving give those arms a little shake okay who's ready for a balance move okay we're going to try this one have the chair handy so you can always grab it all right Okay, so I'll show you first and you decide. I'm going to put my ball back between my legs again. So if you have one, you can. We're going to go down and touch the floor. So I'm, I'm squatting down, touching the floor. And then I'm going to come all the way up and I'm going to go up onto my toes. Lovely and tall. And then I'm going to come back down again. Now if that's not for you, you can still do it. Hand on the chair. Coming up onto toes, hands on the chair for support. And then I'm going to go down again. And then we go down. That's brilliant. Well done. Give it a go. Even if you've got the hand on the chair for a little bit of support. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Lovely. Find the light. And <laughs> find the light today. Down you go. And then big reach up. Squeeze in the ball if you've got it between your legs. And then one more. Down we go. Okay. Looks like I've got Pauline's coming back in again. She must have disappeared a second. Hang on. See if I can see her. Well done. Okay, take a breather. Pauline, you disappeared. You all right? Yeah, I think I've just got you back on the laptop instead. The, the uh, template gave out. Oh, did it? Okay, you've got me though. Well, You're there. I can hear okay. you now. I can't see you yet. Oh, okay. All right, I'll let you join in when you can. Yeah, so, we well done, guys. Well done. Okay. One lovely one to just finish off our, but well, that was only the warm up. <laughs> so we're just going to do a skiing action. Who's been skiing lately? So we're going to go into a lovely little ski, lovely flowing, just dropping the arms, little dip with the legs, nice and flowing, lovely tall reach, and down you go, up and down. Lovely flow. All the moves we've just done has warmed the body up. And then one last one, and come back to standing. Okay, all right. So I'm going to change the music slightly. Okay, so bear with a second. Where's my music gone? Have a breather, grab a drink. Here we go, okay. So we are going to have two moves, okay. We started a little bit late. We're running a little bit late, aren't we? Um, we're gonna have two moves, okay. I want you to bring your chair in front of you and I want you to have a hand on the chair. I'm going to show you slightly sideways. Okay, hand on the chair and you're going to reach underneath you and then you're going to reach out and round. Okay, 
you're going to reach underneath you and out and round. Now try not to turn your hips. It's not a golf swing. Okay? Your hips are going to stay facing the chair and you're just reaching and you want to get your upper back moving. So it's to get all this part around here moving. So we're going to reach and then we're going to reach out. Okay? So we're going to do that one side and then we're going to do it for the other side. Okay? This is a change of music. So the lady is going to count in. So I'm going to turn my chair. All right, we all got a chair. Okay, so we want to hold the tummy in. Soft bend knees. And she's going to count us in. Are you ready? We're going to reach under. So we go reach. And then up. Taking our time. Lovely slow reaches. Getting that rotation in the back. Good. Hold the tummy in. Keep the knees soft, but keep the hips lovely and still. You reach as far as you can reach. If that's only out to here, then that's fine. If it's only a little way to here, as long as your back is moving, you can just take it steady on your back. Just don't overdo it, but a bit of movement is good. Okay. And just a couple more. Good. Okay. And then just stand and let both arms just relax. All right. Four, now three, we're two, going to. I'm going to spin my one. chair around. You can just move. All right. Okay. So we're going to do the other side. We're going to count it in again, and we're going to reach underneath. It's called threading the needle. So you're threading the needle through, and then you're reaching up and open it but just try not to let this hip open up okay so that stays placed in the chair are you ready on the other side she's going to count us in are you ready here we go so tummy's in reaching through so we sit quite a lot these days okay so we really need to get these backs moving as much as you can so again, if for you it's just a small reach forward and out here to the side, then that's fine. If you can turn all the way, look up to the ceiling, that's brilliant. Okay, you'll all know what your limitations are. There. So we've got a few more. Taking your time, holding it there. Always keep that tummy in, which is where we are working the tummy as well. The core. Let's do three more. So that's one. This is two. Last one. And standing up. Lovely. Four, well done. Three, okay. Two, cool. One. Right. Okay. So our next move. Okay. I want us to start using our hips. So we're going to rotate the hips round can we do that so it's just a little lift if you need the chair you can still do it with the chair for balance so you're just circling with the knee circling with the knee ready. it's a really good one for those hips are you ready ah, she's going to count us in to so take your breath here we go it's a lovely circles up and round and you're doing a little bit of a balance so the body's got to work together want to try and do it with the hands off the chair <laughs> then you can good nice big circle see how high you can lift that knee if it's just for you here that's fine though only if you're used to it try and lift the knee up a little bit more super it really opens up the pelvis again it gets very tight when we sit okay one more and then we're going to do some of those just sitting back into our squat. So this is where we used to sit into the chair, where we did that earlier. Sitting into the chair, just bringing your arms out, just for balance. If you're not used to this class, don't worry about just doing a few and then having a little rest. Don't expect you to do quite as much as some of us do. Last one. Okay, little roll of shoulders, little shake of the legs. Okay, so we've got one more to do, all right? So we're going to reach across the body with your elbows, okay? So we're reaching across, 
And if you notice, this foot comes up onto the toes. You actually turn the body. Get ready. Turn the body. Turn the body. Okay? Lead them with the elbow because it makes you go a bit further. All right? Here we go. So, reaching across with the elbow. Turning the body. So this is where we're still twisting that back. Bringing the shoulders round. So anybody that back is troubling them at the moment, just take it easy. So, what I want you to think about is your tummy nice and firm. Are you holding your tummy in as you lean? As you reach across, really think about pulling the tummy in. A couple more. Halfway there. Okay. And now we're just going to go back to remember this one we did earlier. In our warm up, we just did that, that's it. And the shoulder roll. So the shoulders roll, hands go from up, round, up, round. Keep in here, you can go lower if you want, reach further, reach, Four, three, two, good, one. and then bring the legs in, <sighs> okay, lovely, we're going to do one more, it's a bit of a, this is starting going into the stretches now, so we're nearly done, so hands on the chair, okay, we're going to round our back up like a cow, uh, sorry, a cat, they call it angry cat, so rounded, and then you're going to bend ready. your knees, and flatten your back. I want you to go up and rounded, Four, and then three, round and flat. Two, Are you ready? Here we go. So round the back, and then flatten, pushing the tummy down. The back goes flat, and then arching the other way. This is really a back mobility one again. Round in the back, flatten in the back. You're looking good, those I can see. So we really are concentrating on our back today. I thought we'd, we would, as we're all sitting a lot more these days Halfway than we down. used to. One more down, one more up. Lovely. Okay, just roll in those shoulders. Let's have a lovely circle of one arm. Good. And then we're going to circle the other. Here we go. Backwards, Three, and keep it close to two, your one. Super. Okay, I'm just going to change the music and we do some more stretches before we finish, but really good, really good. Everybody's doing really well. So, let me have a little look at some nice, gentle music. Okay. So, can we all, uh, this might be, so I'll show you options. If you can hold your foot up here, or your trouser or your your shoes or whatever you can do that if that's difficult and you have a band place the band around your leg and you can hold yourself in the same position with your band if you find that difficult there's always a way there's always a way you can put your foot onto the chair okay all right and then you can just sit down so that it feels a stretch in the front of your leg all right, so there's different ways you can do it. If that's just as easy, you can do it like that. Ah, oh, so we're nearly there, guys. Okay. And then we're going to change leg, okay? So if you can manage to do this, just with a little bit of support from the chair maybe, then hold the leg in. It's stretching the front of the leg. If not, I'll show you again. You've got the band option. Pop the band round the leg and lift it up behind you or you can simply pop the foot onto the chair okay so your knees may not let you bend the knee quite so much right. lovely okay so we're going to sit in the chair for a second okay I want you to come right to the edge of your chair, okay, so you've got a big gap between you and the back of the chair. And I want you to pop your leg out nice and straight in front of you. Cool, okay. 
You can point the toe down or have it up, depends how flexible you are. We're going to stretch the back of our legs. And I want you, instead of collapsing and reaching down towards your feet, which a lot of people do, I just want you to take the top of your body forward, but keep your head up. And you'll soon feel it in the back of your leg. It's a lovely stretch. So the chest goes forward, not rounded. Okay, you can put your hand on your bent leg. Don't ever put it on the straight one. All right, so we're just reaching forward. Good, and then we sit back. We're going to change legs. The other one goes forward. Hands can go on this knee. What we're going to do, chest goes forward. So really reach the body forward. And again, hopefully I can feel it in the back of my legs. Okay. Good. Lovely. All right. So we're going to have a ball, if you have a ball, in between your knees. So sitting up lovely and tall, if you haven't got your ball, what I'd like you to do is put your hands there. Your hands are going to push out and your knees are going to push in. So it's like this. Okay. So with the ball, we're just going to squeeze the ball. Otherwise, you're going to push out and your knees are going to push in. So stay nice and tall and you should feel your core here working. Just a few little squeezes. Lovely. Okay. And let's bring our ball into our hands. So we're going to do that reach out that we did earlier, which is opening this chest, reaching out, looking around behind you, change hands, looking out behind you. We're just concentrating. The only part of you that can move is from the waist up because you're sat down. So again, this is going to make sure the back moves. Nicely. One more each side. Last one. Good. Okay. So, what else do we need? We need to stretch our calves. So come and stand up. Have the back of the chair, so stand behind your chair. Okay. Calf stretch, you want one leg out behind you, and that one is the one that you're going to stretch right down here into your back of your ankle. Okay, so push that down. If your chair is stable, you should be able to push into your chair. Don't go shooting across the room. <laughs> okay, so you push the heel down. Lean into the chair, front leg bent, and you should feel that nice and deep into that ankle at the back. Hold it there. Just hold, try not to bounce the move. That's when you can injure yourself, so just hold that there. Then we're going to come up, do a little bit of a pedal between our feet. <laughs> and then we're going to take the other leg back, pushing the heel down. Just have a little glance down and make sure that the foot is pointing towards the chair but it's not out to the side, it's definitely that way. Push into the chair, feel all that stretch down in the back of the ankle. Lovely. Good, and coming back up, okay. One last little one, we're going to pop our hands onto the back, lower back. And you're going to try and get your elbows together. Tell me if you manage it, won't you? <laughs> okay, so the idea is just to try and get your elbows as close together behind you. All right. It really opens up this chest here. We're never going to do it, are we? I'll be amazed if you do. Good. Lovely. And then we're going to have one last hug. We're missing our hugs these days, aren't we? We can't hug enough people. That's it. So give yourself a hug. And this opens up your shoulder blades. All right. So you'll find that your shoulder blades will open up behind you. So, okay. Give yourself a little hug and say, well done for coming today to class. Good. Okay. So we're just going to bring ourselves back down before we finish with our breathing again. Now I'm talking, so I'm not going to be able to do the breathing, but I want you to concentrate on a lovely deep breath in and then a deep breath out, okay? Almost the count takes five in and five out. We're gonna do like we did earlier, into the side a little dip, but I want you to concentrate on your breathing. 
going to bring you back down ready for the rest of the day okay so here we go so we're going to open the chest breathing in breathing out breathing in if you take longer than I do, that's fine. Everybody's breath is different. Out to the other side. The other side lean. Down we go. Let's do that again. So, up again. Looking back. Out to the side. Down we go. Reaching up. Reaching out. And down for the last time. Okay, we've got one last lovely little dip. Taking the arms up and round. Reaching up to the ceiling. Putting them back down in a prayer position to your heart. And give yourself a clap. 